Hi there, my gorgeous chiquities. Welcome to today's diary entry. I'm Valeria Alicia. Today, I wanted to bring you my 10 minute makeup routine for work. You guys, I think I've stressed this enough. I work a 12 hour shift. I have to be at work at six o'clock in the morning. Nobody has time to sit down and do this like elaborated makeup. I know I don't. So I wanted to explain and take you through every single step that I do to achieve this 10 minute makeup and make us look like we definitely put in so much effort when in reality, we really didn't. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the way I like to do this is I make it as simple as possible. And the way I like to do this is you have to choose between three. So you either do lipstick, like a bold lip, eyebrows, or eyelashes. So I actually learned this trick by um, Zabrina. She has a YouTube channel here and I thought it was like the greatest thing ever. So for me, the most simple thing, and that's because I have a lot of hair, is my eyebrows. I actually really, really love a bold eyebrow, simple eyes, and bronzy. So that's what I go for for work. I think it's very appropriate and you still look put together to where people think that you actually spent the time and effort to get ready. So in my case, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and you will see that. So I like to start off by priming my face. I like to keep this, you guys, as realistic as possible because honestly, nobody has time for that. I just have 10 minutes. I like to get my sleep. I don't like wasting time um, waking up extra early just so that I can do my makeup like that's a no-no in my book I'm sorry especially now that I'm pregnant I'm I know I'm not gonna have enough time you know later on I'm kind of practicing at the same time if you think about it so I start by priming my face we're not gonna use any extra crazy products and you will see that so I like to start off with my Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This has been my go-to for like the last two years, especially during the summer. I really, really love it. So I just put some like all over my face. Oops. And then I go in with my Beauty Blender and blend it all out. And then if I need more, then I just go ahead and grab some more. So with my Beauty Blender, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. So it may look like that foundation was a bit too light for me, but just bear with me, I promise you, it'll all work out in the end. So after that, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I'm not gonna be doing this crazy triangle things and putting on a lot. This is just gonna be simple and easy and a little goes a long way with this guy. So I just go in like that, that is it. Other side, boom. And literally, that is it. There's no time to put some in here and not, there's no time for that. There is time to get ready and look good for work. So I'm gonna go in again with my Beauty Blender and start blending it all out. And I like to bring it to the top of my eyebrows, I mean, to the top of my eyelids and blend. This is basically going to be functioning as my eye primer. We're not gonna use any eyeshadow. This is just simply so that we can get rid of those veins that like to pop through. And I have this coloration in my eyes, as you can see. They are a little darker than the rest of my face, so I definitely have to hit those points and blend it all out. I'm bringing a little bit of that concealer down here to my mouth, simply because of that redness I got going on, but normally I would not do that. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and blend the other side. Whatever excess I have on my sponge, I do like to bring to my chin, a little bit on top of my nose and whatever is left on the center of my forehead. But that's just what's left if I have time. So after that, I'm gonna go in with my RCMA, put it some right here, 
and do a little bit of baking. You might think, well, that's uh, definitely an extra step. Honestly, you guys, it's the best thing that I can do because I have really, really dark circles under my eyes. And so it's best for me to do this. If you don't have to do this, definitely skip this step. For me, it's key. I work 12 hour shifts and therefore my makeup has to last at least a good 13 hours. So I definitely wanna make sure my makeup is sweat proof, um, mask proof, because I have to wear a mask every single time I'm at work for what I do. And so I just like doing this step for that reason. And again, I used whatever I had extra to put on, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin, but this is it. Moving on to my eyebrows. So this is where I obviously spent a little more time. Everything else I can literally do in like two minutes. But as far as my eyebrows, I know that I have to sit down, take my time, and they may take longer. So I actually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, what are these called? The Brow Powder Duo. And mine is in dark brown and it looks like that. I'm like starting to hit pan on that one. And then I use their brush in number seven. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can't even see it because I've used this brush so much. I absolutely love it. So what I like to do is I start with the light color. I'm just gonna do one eyebrow on camera and then do the, the other one off camera just so for the sake of time. So it's a little more realistic. Obviously when I'm doing this video, it's gonna take longer. So what I like to do is I, I shape my eyebrow with the light color and then I go in with the dark one. Okay, one eyebrow done, and now let's work on this one. Eyebrows are done. So I forgot to mention that whatever I have left on the sponge, I like to go on top and kind of set that concealer, otherwise it's gonna crease. So anyway, eyebrows are done, and now we're gonna move on to bronzing. I'm still leaving my face alone just so that it can continue baking, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and go for this bronzer. This is beat up. This has been with me for a long time. This is MAC Give Me Sun. And yes, I know that it's time to get a new one, but I feel like I'm kind of over MAC products for the moment. I don't know how I'll feel later, but right now I'm kind of over them. I actually got a new bronzer from my Sephora haul that I've been wanting to try but I wanted to try that on camera with you guys, so that's why I haven't used it just yet. So, that is coming. All right, so I like to bronze all over my face. Some hair is coming out of place there. All over. Do like your little three bring it down, and then the same thing on the other side. Done with the bronzing, now I'm gonna go in with blush, and I'm gonna use uh, Milani's Luminoso. You guys, this is beat up. This has been with me for a while too. I just really like it. <laughs> what can I say? When I like a product, I just use the heck out of it and they become my go-to's go for the longest time and that's what's happening right now, okay? So I'm just gonna touch the uh, apples of my cheeks, literally, just like that. And I love this bronzer just for that because it's not too much, oops, like this. Good enough. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and brush off all of this baking we've got going on. And I don't know if you guys catch this, but I feel like my nose just kind of gets lost in the process. Like there's no definition. So what I like to do is whatever I have left on this brush, again, we're not doing any extra steps. This is just if you find the time or if you feel like it's important. I like doing it, but it's up to you. I like to pinch my brush and just kind of define my nose a bit. So 
I'm trying to figure out which way I could show you. So like this, I'm gonna go in with whatever is left in this brush and just kind of define my nose a bit so it doesn't get lost. And that is it. Literally, that is all. After that, we're gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna be using the Essence Lash Princess in Sculpted Volume. You guys, this mascara is so affordable and it is amazing. the lips now you're probably thinking Valerie you said 10 minutes there's no time to put on a lipstick oh but there is so what I like to do is I use my Neutrogena revitalizing lip balm and this one is like the tinted number seven I believe let me see fresh plum 60 is what it's called um, the shade so these are lip balms but they actually have some color to them so I'm a cheater I like to cheat <laughs> and make it look like I do have some lipstick on so what I do is I just quickly go in put some of this on and you guys I can do this with my eyes closed and just like that we are ready for work ready for business. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this little simple get ready for work with me. You guys, literally ever since I discovered this routine, this is what I've been doing for work. And this lip balm, isn't it beautiful? I absolutely love the tint it gives my lips. It makes my lips look juicy and like I'm wearing lip gloss, but I'm really not. It's literally just lip balm and it is amazing. Mm. Anyway, every single product that I've mentioned will be in the description box linked. So make sure to check it out if you liked any of them. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next diary entry. Un besote. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.